Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to open up the Journey into Darkness expansion for Fallen Land, a post-apocalyptic board game. Uh, this is a uh, single player mode to uh, Fallen Land, a post-apocalyptic board game. Uh, it's also designed by John Lundgren and Sean Cahill, comes from Fallen Dominion Studios. And uh, just take a look quick, it's a small box expansion, uh, includes some additional spoils, cards, action cards, Mission cards, planes encounter cards, mountain encounter cards, city radiation encounter cards, four character cards, six ten sided dice, two six sided dice. So you get to add more dice to the game and uh, increases the card count of the core set by 20%, as if there weren't enough cards already. So let's take a quick look at what comes in the box. Quite so heavy as the larger, the larger game. Nice quality box. So then we've got our smaller manual for the uh, expansion. It just comes in about 12 pages and explains all the new, the new components, new terminology, six player rules. So it has a six player. The other one's two to five. So this goes one makes it one to six. And the solo variant overview. And we have apparently uh, two solo variants. There's solo variant one and solo variant two. That was the solo variant two overview. Down here it's the solo variant one. So you got two solo variants to play with, which is awesome. In order to play. Cool. Optional advanced rules for two to five players. Cool. Awesome. All right, and then you get a two six-sided dice, as we said, six more um, ten-sided dice, and two more decks of cards, or a deck and a, a deck and a fourth, maybe. So you can be Sid Crawford. Do you know Free Bird? He flips off the crowd. Don't flip off the crowd. That's rude. He is a megalomaniac rock star. So let's we'll take a look at one of these decks. It's just more, more goodness of the same. But the big key thing here is that it does add a six player if you really want to play six players, which based on the estimate on the base game would take six hours to play. But if you're used to playing big games like Twilight Imperium and stuff like that, you're probably used to that. So this character card that we looked at and then we got spoils. There's another character. We've got Lurch, a wannabe pirate. Quit fooling, I will seriously clock you. And some gear and a vehicle. Right. Very nice. Jameson Bond 77 Lotus. Looks to me like a Fiero, but uh, I'm sure it's a Lotus. Chad Zosmius. This code should disable the security. Each in turn phase gain two salvage points. It's level seven. All right, so they are the same. They feel like the exact same quality, exact same artwork. I'm gonna blend right in with the base game. Okay, one more character here. And we got Herman Crawford, grizzled locksmith. At least he's not a disgruntled locksmith. So you're gonna get that. You're gonna get another deck of cards. You're gonna get six more ten sided dice, two more. Six sided dice and the rule book, which importantly includes the two solo variants as well as six player variant if you're so inclined. And that is everything that is contained inside the Journey into Darkness expansion for Fallen Land, a post apocalyptic board game. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh.